Mr. Cool DIY ductless mini split installation is simple and easy. First, make sure the indoor and outdoor units match. If they don't, contact your dealer immediately. Next, unpack the indoor unit to ensure you have all the required setup components like the wall template, wall sleeve, remote control, and so on. After choosing a good installation site, use the wall template to mark drill holes for the mounting plate. Be sure your marks correspond with the studs for solid support. Now you're ready to secure the mounting plate to the wall. Check that all measurements are correct before you start drilling. When the holes are done, secure the plate with the fixing screws. The hole that you cut in the wall will connect the indoor air handler with the outdoor condenser. Cut the exterior end of the hole slightly lower than the interior. This angle will help proper drainage. For this part, it's helpful to have somebody on the other side of the wall. Bundle the piping, drain hose, and signal cable together with electrical tape before you pass it through the hole. Make sure the drain hose is on the bottom of the bundle. Slide the wall sleeve into place from the outside. After the connector bundle is in place, you may attach the indoor air handler to the mounting plate. Hook the top of the unit on the upper hook of the mounting plate. Using even pressure, push down on the bottom half of the unit until the bottom hooks snap into place. Now, it's time to install the outside condenser. Make sure you have all the required components, like a condensate drain extension, rubber pads, etc. For wall mount installations, it's a good idea to install the drain joint on the bottom of the condenser before you bolt it into place. Position the condenser on the pad. Place rubber pads under the feet, pre-drill the bolt holes, then use a nut and expansion bolt to anchor the condenser. Tighten the nut until it's nice and snug. Use a screwdriver to remove the electrical wiring cover. Be sure to refer to the wiring diagram inside the cover as necessary. At this point, you must know if your unit is 110 volt or 220 volt. You cannot make a mistake here. If your unit is the 110 volt system, hook to terminal L1N and ground. If your unit is the 220 volt system, attach to terminals L1 and L2 and ground. If you don't have experience working with electrical wiring, hire a certified electrician to make the connection. Be sure you observe all municipal electrical codes and safety guidelines during this process. Failure to follow appropriate electrical guidelines during the installation process will void your warranty and could result in injury or death. Use a screwdriver to remove the exterior water tray cover. Align the refrigerant pipes with the valves and ensure they are not stressed. Carefully tighten the first few threads by hand. Using open-ended wrenches, tighten the bottom connector first, then the top connector. Work quickly, but be careful that the screw connectors do not skew. With a wrench, remove the valve covers. You will need an Allen wrench to open the valves. Turn the wrench counterclockwise as far as possible to fully open the valve. Replace the cover securely after you're finished. After the refrigerant tubes are connected to the condenser, it is important to check the connections for leaks. Use soapy water or leak detection spray. If you find any leaks, tighten the leaking connection with a wrench. Check for leaks a second time after starting the equipment and allowing refrigerant pressure to build up inside. And basic installation is finished. Complete your test run according to the guidelines in the installation manual. Then enjoy your Mr. Cool DIY ductless mini split for years to come. Thanks for watching this Mr. Cool instructional video. For questions or comments, go to mrcool.com.